Hey everybody, uh, just a really quick video today. Um, I noticed there's a lot of people coming out with their own uh, soft boxes, and octa boxes, and everything else. And you know, the trend for a while were, was the parabolic, deeper the better. And you just just to explain something to you, so you know, 99% um, of these things are all the same. Um, and unless you have one of these on the grid when you're using a diffuser, you're not controlling light at all. No matter you know how deep it is, it's the, the the difference between a deep and a shallow with a diffuser on it is pretty much zero. Um, and I know there's going to be a lot of people that argue this, and um, but just let me give you one thing here. Uh, excuse the noise. Your grid, of course will control your light. But with a deep dish, now I'm hungry for pizza. Anyway, this is your surface area, okay? No matter how parabolic this is, this is your surface area. This is the light that's going to heat, reach your subject. Um, now, I, I know a lot of say, oh, well, the fall off or uh, the control or yeah, whatever. <laughs> so many people, you know, if you want to control your light, you put a grid on it, okay? This is taking up a lot of room, okay? The reason I have this one, not because it's a parabolic or deep, it's because it was made for video. It's extremely well made. And I use it without this um, a lot of time. Um, so then if you're not using a diffuser, then this matters, okay? But if you're throwing a diffuser on here, and, and even these with a, a beauty dish disc inside of it, you know, will it spread the light better? Maybe. <laughs> but we're talking maybe a tenth of a stop better? Like, it's so minor it doesn't matter. Um, and like I said, you know, I know there's a lot of, uh, uh, of YouTubers that, that are arguing this and trying to sell these and, you know, the new, the better, the, you know, yeah, there's some that are easier to put up, like uh, the mag mods, you know, it's a cool design because it's, you know, it's a zipper for your diffuser and it pops open. It, it, it's nice, but when it all comes down to it, no matter what's inside of here, this is where your light hits. And this is the light you're going to get. This is your surface area of light, no matter what kind of magic they think they're producing in here. Yes, a silver interior will push out more light to an extent. But the same thing with here. This is your surface area. No matter how deep or shallow this is, this is your surface area of light. Now, when you remove that diffuser, yes, umbrellas, parabolic umbrellas can actually be really good, okay? This is a little deeper, not too much, but still, this is your surface of light, okay? Move it in, shallower, move it out, more. <laughs> it's, it's that simple. And you can do most everything that this does with this. Just period. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Whether you get a silver, a white, you can put the diffuser cloth over if you want to, whatever you want to do. Um, I just did an entire shoot. I'll show you some images. Everything was done with a white umbrella or a silver umbrella. Actually, I'll show you the one with the silver umbrella so you can see what it can do. Um, so, you know, given the fact this is pro photo, it doesn't really matter. You can get any kind of umbrella. They're all the same. Some are made a little bit better than others. Um, but, you know, when they break, they break. Nobody fixes them. Warranties on these things are bullshit. Um, and this here, having to carry around this or take this outside, um, just because it's deep and, and an influencer told you, you know, this is better because it's deeper and it controls the light better. <laughs> like, what kind of fall off are you looking for outside or seriously in the studio? I, I don't see many people actually taking advantage of the fall off. 
Um, and, and I did some shots where I used the umbrella and, and created the fall off on the edge with the edge of the umbrella. Um, and then I can get an umbrella for $16 that doesn't have somebody's name on it, or I can get one of these, take up a ton of space, spend a ton of money, and get the same damn results um, as, you know, one of these, but, you know, obviously the size. But umbrellas are cheap and they work. But don't be taken in by the, the parabolic theory that, you know, like, uh, a beauty dish. Now, a beauty dish puts out a certain kind of light. It has the disc in the center. It's a beauty dish. When you throw a diffuser on it, it takes that effect down quite a bit. It softens the light. The size is still the size. But throwing a beauty dish disc in a giant <laughs> softbox and saying it's a beauty dish, um, when you put that diffuser on, it's just a softbox or it's a glorified umbrella. That's all it is. Um, and anyway, I hope this helps. Um, I'm not looking for arguments in the comments. Don't bother. Like, um, you know, if you want to argue, literally do the test yourself. You know, go through the steps and, and show me the differences because there's none there. <laughs> anyway, um, again, with the diffuser on. Uh, here's a couple images that I shot from this uh, last shoot. And like I said, it was, I, I used a speed light and an umbrella. That's it. You know, it's a silver umbrella, yeah, the silver umbrella, and I used a muted silver umbrella. It worked fantastic. It, it produced some great photos. I controlled the light in every which way possible, and I used an umbrella that was $30 on sale at Adorama, I think. Um, like, literally, $30, $30 impact umbrella. You know, or, or I could have used this, taking up a lot of space, and, you know, spent $200 on it. Anyway, have a great day. Here's some of the shoot um, and some of the photos. I really want to see the photos so you can see. You can, you can do a lot with just an umbrella. Uh, have a great day and enjoy the shoot. Okay, so really quick. This is just the silver umbrella. It's a larger silver umbrella, um, you know, maybe 60 inch, I'm guessing. Um, but it's that muted silver, so it's not like too specular for somebody's skin. Um, and I'm using one speed light behind them. That's it. That's the whole setup. Um, and, and as you move the umbrella where, you know, where you move it, you can, you know, direct the light where you want it to go. It's that simple. Um, yeah, with a, a soft box and a grid, you can control it a lot more. Um, you know, with a smaller soft box, you can control it that way. But there's so much you can do with just one umbrella. Now, for this shot, I'm going to throw a grid on the back to change the color of the backdrop. I, I use gray back, backdrop for this because it really picks up the color better than white. It uh, becomes pastel y uh, when you're using a white backdrop. But as you'll see with this shot, it, it, it gives just a nice hint of color in the back. Now I switched to the white umbrella for his. Um, and with this white umbrella, it's a little deeper than normal. Um, but you can really control how that light goes, where it falls off, you know, where it hits, where it doesn't. Um, just with an umbrella and, you know, not an expensive soft box and, you know, because they're just getting outrageous and out of hand with all this stuff they're throwing at you. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the shoot. Um, you know, this last shot, I'm not even using a, a, a backlight. I'm, I'm just going to control the light. Now, I don't have the actual um, light where it's supposed to be for this, you know, for this last shot. It was just switched to the other side. But that line, that dark line, is just the edge of the umbrella. That's it. There's nothing else in this shot but the edge of the umbrella, and I controlled the light and made it look like that in the backdrop. 